Hello, our names are Laura Kaltenberg and Katharina Bartsch. We are both project managers at CTC North. CTC North is a CRO, a clinical research organization based in Hamburg, Germany. As we submit clinical trials to the competent authorities and ethics committees and organize clinical trials on a daily basis, we would like to talk to you about clinical trials in the context of HPV cure. Our topic is how safe are clinical trials and what should patients expect? How do I know the medicine or vaccine given in a clinical trial is safe? Before new products are given to humans, they have to pass a preclinical phase. This also includes testing in animals. The first administration to humans in a clinical trial starts with low doses and is slowly increased. The first doses are tested for safety and tolerability in a small group of healthy volunteers. This dose usually has no therapeutic effect. It is only a fraction of the dose that is expected as the optimal final dose. Who monitors these steps? Clinical trials must be submitted to different regulatory authorities. The competent authority reviews all details about the study drug and the ethics committee focuses on ethical aspects of the clinical trial. Both can ask for more information or for an adaption of the study plan if they don't think the initial plan is sufficient. The most important questions are always whether the safety of the subject and data integrity are guaranteed. I'm already in treatment. Is my doctor not treating me now? Before you are enrolled in the clinical trial, a study investigator will inform you about the treatment, visits, assessments and risks. Then you have time to think about everything and talk with family and friends or your treating physician. Depending on the study drug, your treating doctor will continue to care for you in parallel or only after the clinical trial has ended. Has anyone been dosed before? This depends on the time point at which you are enrolled in a clinical trial. The first clinical trials are done with healthy volunteers. Further clinical trials will enroll patients. For more information on the different phases of clinical trials, please have a look at the other HPV cure FAQs. When you are screened for participation in a clinical trial, you can ask the study team about the current status and how many people have been treated so far. Have side effects or complications occurred with previous doses? What effects were observed? In general, so-called adverse events are collected throughout clinical trials. For new medicines or vaccines being tested in phase 1 trials, there is limited data available. Effects are recorded in previous study subjects and there may be not that many to date. But remember the preclinical phase. Based on animal models and the knowledge scientists have about similar medicines and the theory behind the mechanism of a vaccine, some events are to be expected. Also, some adverse events are desired. Vaccines, for example, are designed to activate the immune system. Some reactions show that your body has started to work. Of course, those reactions should be within certain limits. Where do the side effects listed in the package insert come from? Based on data from ongoing clinical trials, the package insert of the study drug is updated continuously. Package inserts are available for authorized drugs. Reactions to these products can be reported by every user to the competent authority. All data are from individuals who have already received the study drug. How is the clinical trial monitored after it has started? All adverse events and serious adverse events are collected and assessed by experts. These data include physical reactions and laboratory values. All serious reactions that are unexpected must be reported to the competent authority at ethics committee. The authorities also monitor these events and may ask for more extensive reporting and possibly interruption of the clinical trial. There are also experts in the study team who look at the safety data during ongoing trials. This may be a local safety board or an independent data and safety monitoring board. These groups meet on a predefined, regular basis to discuss available safety data. What happens if a bad side effect has occurred? The conduct of a clinical trial follows a study plan, the protocol. 
This document describes the study design and all assessments. Also, stopping rules must be defined before a trial can start. Stopping a trial or interrupting study treatment is a safety measure. Clinical trials can be stopped early if necessary. Also, if you are participating in a clinical trial, you can stop it at any time. In summary, the sponsor performs an ongoing risk-benefit assessment of the clinical trial. In addition, annual safety reports are prepared and submitted to the competent authority and ethics committee for monitoring. All parties involved want to make trials as safe as possible. Thank you very much for listening. If your worries or fears were not addressed in this video, please feel encouraged to ask your study team any questions you may have. Every participant should feel comfortable with the decision to be part of a clinical trial.